Welcome or welcome back to Lights On Podcast. If you like what you hear, please tap into your generosity, rate us five star and share. I'm your host, Mitra Manesh. I'm a mindfulness storyteller and educator. I teach at UCLA's Semmel Institute for Neuroscience and Human Behavior Mindful Awareness Research Center. I'm also the founder of Inner Map, an innovative new mindfulness app. And I've been the coach to many knowns and unknowns of the world for the past 35 years, helping them to love, live, and lead more mindfully, joyfully, and peacefully. If you'd like to explore my work further, go to App Store and download and try Inner Map app for free, or simply visit mitramanesh.com. This episode is about anger. A participant asked me, what do I do when people cause me to be angry, too angry, so much so that I can't handle it? An important question that provoked a delicate answer about the source of our anger. Let's take a deep, relaxing breath and listen together. Let me see if I have time to go there because I want to go there. You said that I don't feel anger, but when I do, it's too much. So there's something contradictory in this. The fact that you don't experience anger that often means that you're not letting anger in in small doses. That's what it really means. So you do have the experience of anger, but you're not letting it in. So it's like 18 angers have come and I haven't opened the door and I open the door, it's like, whoa, they all come in. And that's the whole practice that you start practicing from now on, or even if you're visiting the past, small one anger at a time. So you say, thank you, let me just get this one in. I deal with the rest of the tribe later. Just the, like neighbor can come in. And then you deal with that and then and then you say, well, the teacher from grade eight can come in. And then you deal with that because what you're saying that I don't feel anger, that is, wasn't an accurate statement to me. Because if they come in as an avalanche, that means that you're not letting them in as like little tiny, tiny right. guests. So the practice, so let's talk about the practice. The practice is starting to let anger in because I feel because of the experience that you've had with other people, you have something against anger because it didn't feel right for you and whatever. You're, you're seeing anger as a guest that we shouldn't let in. Correct? Or Right. So what you're saying is anger provides information to me. Mm -hmm. It's the anger where the angry person is providing way too much information to everyone else that um, comes up. Yes, but you see, let's differentiate between the anger of another person and the anger of me. You're, you're using them interchangeably. Yeah. I'm saying your anger is yours. You can handle it. I'm not going to take it. I'm talking about the anger that I'm experiencing. It may be caused because of the anger that you had. It could be that. But it, it, it could be anything. But you have to understand that people and situations may bring about my anger, but they can never give birth to my anger. This is very important. Everybody got that? So I may provoke your anger, goes back to the needs that it hasn't been met, but I can't be the reason for your anger. So in fact, when people irk you, go there, <laughs> because there lies a lot of information that you haven't touched. So this assumption, and I think I need to then... Um, this let go of that assumption. The assumption that people can make you angry is an incorrect assumption. People can bring about the anger that already lives in you, but they cannot give birth to it. 
You cannot make me angry. You can bring anger out in me. And there's a major difference in these two statements. One, you are the cause of my anger. Two, you are the tool to bring anger to me. Tool is very different than the cause. You didn't give birth to it. You weren't the reason for it. You were just the messenger for it. Why? I don't know. You look like my sister. That's why I get it. Uh, it could be so many things. It could be my voice that brings something for people. It could be so many things, but it's their association. It's their own experiences. It's what they have not cleared about them. Then we become all messengers of anger for each other, but we cannot be the cause of anger. That's fundamentally important because it's a, it, it liberates you again. Because if I think you're the cause, I have to wait until you do something about you. But if I think you were just the messenger, then I say, thank you, give the message and you can leave now. And what do I do if you have an anger? None of my business. I hold you with compassion. I can do that if I have it, if I have access to my heart. But that's the best I can do. I cannot do it for you. I don't know people's anger. As I said, I can hardly handle mine. I have no idea about where, what the cause is, where their unmet needs are, why they're doing what they're doing. And I'm not going to even go there. If I can't handle it, I leave. If I can handle it and hold it with wisdom of the mind, I do. If I can go to my heart, I'll, compassion, I offer. But that's not my job. That at best, I can hold it. At best. I cannot do it for them. And whoever them are, really, them could be my child. I mean, I can't hold my child's anger. I would like to, believe me, but I can't. I can't. I can't. Hope this episode answered the question or two for you, or provoked and inspired questions in you. I'm so grateful you showed up and listened up. Until the next time, be well and stay curious.